Hello. We're going to be reviewing some mineral sunscreens today. Here's a disclaimer. I'm not a dermatologist, esthetician, chemist, or any certified medical professional qualified to give any medical advice. The first sunscreen is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50. It's about 37 US dollars. It has cell OX shield technology, UVA and UVB protection and antioxidants. It's sensitive skin friendly, fragrance paraben and oil free non-comogenic, water resistant, about 80 minutes. Here is this bad boy. Let's just start off with the cons right off the bat, just because this sunscreen, I think it embodies exactly the reasons why people hate mineral sunscreens. And it's the white cast of this one is truly pretty bad. Here is a video of myself putting on some of this sunscreen onto my face. As you can see, the white cast is real. It makes you look like you're a vampire in the Twilight series. Now, I'm not sure what other antioxidants are in this thing, but it does have vitamin E, which is a hit or miss for a lot of people. Take that for what it is. It has vitamin E in it, if that's something that you're concerned about. Now, one of the pros about this thing is that when it says water resistant, it really means it's water resistant. Here is a photo of me after my sweaty, nasty run. So you can see, even though I was sweating like crazy, the sunscreen never slipped off of my face, which means that the water resistant is very, very good. So if you don't mind looking like Casper the ghost and you wanna go on a hike, highly recommend this because it's not gonna rub off if you're sweating like crazy. Overall, I'll rate this about a four out of 10 because the white cast is really quite a turn off. Next, La Roche-Posay Tinted Mineral Sunscreen Light Fluid SPF 50. It's about 38 US dollars. It also has the Cell OX Shield Technology, UVA, UVB protection and antioxidants, fragrance free, water resistant up to 40 minutes. Is this even zooming in on the product or is it zooming in on my face? I don't know how to show off these products. Some pros for this is it's really, really lightweight. When you put it on, it's almost like a, a watery like consistency. It spreads really easy on your face, feels really light. Also, the lady at Ulta that checked this out loved this thing, gave it like a 10 out of 10, said it was the best sunscreen she'd ever tried. It did okay when adding multiple layers on throughout the day. It didn't make my skin more oily or shiny than it usually is. One of the cons is I think very universal for most tinted sunscreens, but it rubs off on clothes really, really easily. I was wearing a tan trench coat with a collar that kind of rubs up against my skin. Once it rubbed in, it almost just smeared the tint right off and right onto my collar. If you're wearing a white shirt, be aware that this may or may not rub off on it. In addition, the tint of this one is a little bit too orangey for my skin. However, it might look really good on your skin, but just be aware that it does have a little bit of an orange -y tint to it. So you may look a little bit pumpkin-like or like you got a really bad 2000 spray tan, but hopefully it looks better on your skin than my skin. I don't know that much about ingredients, but when I was doing research for this as well, I learned that it has an ingredient called talc in it, which is supposedly potentially pore clogging. So if talc is an ingredient that you care about and you really don't want in your products, then I suggest avoiding this one. On to the next one. MD Solar Science Mineral Cream SPF 50. It's about $32. It's safe for sensitive skin, including rosacea and acne prone skin type, protects against UVA and UVB rays, blue light and environmental damage. It is vitamin C and natural antioxidant, green tea, cranberry fruit, and pomegranate extracts to help fight sun damage and free radicals. It's reef safe, it's hypoallergenic, non-comedogenic. This one I had mixed feelings about. I liked it and I didn't like it at the same time. I felt like the white cast of this one wasn't as bad as some of the white cast sunscreens that I've tried. However, it's still there, especially if you put it on your face, I felt like it was more evident. I like how it has a lot of good antioxidants, I think. Again, sometimes antioxidants can make sensitive skin very sensitive. So if these are things that you don't want in your sunscreens, I suggest not going for this one if you don't want all these extra antioxidants and ingredients in your sunscreen. I also felt like this one was a little bit heavier and a little bit greasier than some of the other sunscreens. I really liked it for my body. I liked it when I went on runs. Um, I felt like it was good for that. But then again, it's a little bit pricey for a body sunscreen. On my face, wasn't a big fan of it. So if you're looking for something for your face, I would probably steer clear for this one. Overall, I'd give this one maybe a six out of 10. Color Science Sunforgettable Total Protection Face Shield Flex SPF 50. It's about $49. It has pigments that adjust to your skin's natural tone. There are four shades. Lightest to darkest are fair, medium, tan, and deep. Free of parabens, sulfates, 
dates, oil, dyes, and fragrance, water and sweat resistant up to 40 minutes, hypoallergenic, non comogenic. I actually have two shades here. I have the fair and the medium and I bought the medium one first because I thought that was more my skin tone. But then I realized that I'm probably more of a fair right now. If I get a little bit tanner for the summer, maybe I'm a medium, but I did get two of them, which is quite pricey. And it's also a kind of pro and a con. Now on one hand, it's good because you could potentially find your perfect shade range so that you don't get any tinted sunscreens that are a little bit orangey like the La Roche one. However, it also means that you'd have to spend $100 just to get your regular shade because you'd have to get two of these and they're about $50. So that's also not great. Now also in terms of the skin range, it does have four different shades. So I'm not sure if the shade range is actually truly there for the entire spectrum of different skin types. So those with darker skin tones that have tried this, let me know if these worked for you. Again, like most tinted sunscreens, it does rub off. I found that the fair color actually doesn't rub off as much and it's not as evident. However, I think once you get to darker skin tones, the pigments are a little bit different and a little bit darker, so it rubs off. But I found that the fair one was a little bit better at not smudging on clothes. However, it also didn't cover the acne as well as the medium. The medium one gave me the coverage that I really wanted for my acne because I'm going through it, guys. I'm going on tretinoin right now and I'm in the purging stage, so it makes my skin just so lovely. I will also say that I have really oily skin, so throughout the day as I'm layering this on, my skin does tend to get a little bit oily looking everywhere, but especially in my T-zone. So if you're looking for something a little bit more mattifying, this might not be for you. However, I really like this one just because of the coverage it gives me. It's kind of like wearing sunscreen and foundation at the same time. However, this is quite pricey and I kind of wish that they gave you little samples so that way you don't end up going and buying a $50 tub of this and then realizing it ain't for you. Overall, I'll give this about an eight out of 10. This was helpful and that you find the sunscreen that is just chef's kiss for you.